Hey, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a custom domain for your CourseCraft account. It's a great way to make your courses look just a little more professional. It's super easy, so let's get started. Okay, so I've created a demo account with a couple of courses. Here's one of them. As you can see, the URL says coursecraft.net. And at the bottom of the page, there is a Made with Coursecraft logo. You've also got a profile here, which lists your courses. And again, the URL says Coursecraft. And at the end, there is a user ID. So let's set up our custom domain. The first thing you need to do is head over to the membership page. Scroll down here and make sure you're on the society plan. That's the one that gets you the custom domain feature. Next, just head over to your creator profile and click Set up a custom domain. Now you just need to type the domain you want to use. You'll need to use a subdomain here, so I'll choose courses.ryansphotos.ca. You could do school.yourdomain.com or whatever else you like. Okay, so now CourseCraft will start checking for our domain to be set up correctly in the background. We need to go over to our domain registrar or DNS provider and point the subdomain at CourseCraft. For this demo, I'll use Hover because it's pretty popular and easy to use, but we have instructions for a bunch of other providers and the steps are mostly the same for all of them. Over on Hover, we just click DNS, then add record and choose CNAME for the type. The host name is the same thing you entered on CourseCraft, so courses.ryansphotos.ca, and the target name is going to be ssl.coursecraft.net. Any other options you can leave as the default and then add record. That's all we need to do over on Hover, so back on CourseCraft, we just wait a few minutes. If you're impatient like me, you can click Check Now anytime. There we go. So once everything is confirmed, we can try it out right away by just clicking here, copying the URL, and then pasting it in another tab. We're on our custom domain, and there's even an SSL certificate all set up and managed automatically. The courses are also on your custom domain, of course, but don't forget to customize those URLs too, instead of this default ID. There's a handy way back here on the custom domain setup to jump to the share page for each course where you can edit that. So I'll just put something nice in here. And that's it, we're all done. We've got fully customized URLs. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll keep posting more videos to help you get the most out of CourseCraft.